Today is March 20th, and today is Doom Day. Wait, what? There's a new Animal Crossing game coming out? Okay, so it's Animal Crossing is Doom Day. But seriously, though, both games I feel will do very well, especially ones that don't like Doom or don't like violent video games and like the cutesy bullshit that Animal Crossing has. And that's all cool, because I think Animal Crossing is a fun game. And if you love both Doom and Animal Crossing, everybody's going to be in a damn good mood. So today I want to review Doom 2016 as a way to celebrate the release of the sequel, Doom Eternal. And really, I was going to review this game about a year ago, maybe less than that, but ran into some issues with this game. This was around the time I bought my MSI laptop, which is more than capable of running this game just fine at high if not ultra settings, but it wouldn't run. I kept getting a direct 3D error and did some Googling and it said it had to do with an update for NVIDIA. Well, fast forward to a few weeks back, I decided to give it another try, and it worked. Now, you might be wondering, where's the Doom 3 review? That will come at a later time, and since Doom Eternal is a sequel to this game, I figured, why the fuck not, let's review it today. Now, we all know Doom is a fast-paced, kick-ass, violent FPS that you're blasting away demons from hell and trying to save Earth. Then Doom 3 came out and slowed things down a little bit, and then went in the direction of survival horror. The game was met with mixed reviews, and then there was talks of Doom 4 for many years, including a possibility of making it similar to Call of Duty. Well, it sucked said fuck that shit and made Doom 2016. Now this game was developed by id Software and published by Bethesda. It was originally released in May of 2016 for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, and in November of 2017 it's seen a release on the Nintendo Switch. So if you're a Nintendo fan, you can play this game right on your little Switch box. Some say this is more of a reboot of the series, and in some aspects I can see that. You take the role of Doom Guy, or an unnamed Space Marine, or in this game they call him Doom Slayer. You can call him all three. And at the end of the day, he doesn't need a fucking name because he's a badass motherfucker. You must battle the demonic forces from hell that have been unleashed by the Union Aerospace Corporation on a future set colonized Mars. It takes place on a research facility ran by Dr. Samuel Hayden, who is a UAC scientist who is basically an android body with a brain. Researchers have been trying to draw energy from hell in order to solve an energy crisis on planet Earth. They are using something known as an Argent Tower, which siphons energy and allows travel to and from hell. The facility is is overran by a variety of evil demons after Olivia Pierce, one of Hayden's researchers, makes a pact with them to open the portal to hell. You basically save planet Mars, kill demons, rip their skulls out, blast them with a shotgun and other nice weapons, and just kick a lot of ass. Speaking of weapons, there's about 15 of them, ranging from a shotgun, assault rifle, cannons, fried grenades, chainsaw, chain gun. You can use your fists in berserk mode, and of course, the BFG 9000. That's right, the big fucking gun. There is about 13 levels or areas you go through on your quest to kick ass, and there's about 13 classic levels that are revealed as secrets, which is pretty badass. Not only that, there are collectibles that are little figurines that look like Doom Guy. It is pretty cool and funny to see Doom Slayer fist bump the figurine. Adds a little humor to the game. When it comes to enemies, there are possessed humans, such as engineers, security soldiers. There's demons, such as caco demons, hell knights, hell razors, imps, lost souls, baron of hell, pinkies, specters, Revenants, and more. There are demon bosses like Cyber Demon, Hell Guards, and of course the Spider Mastermind. In this game, there's a feature called Glory Kills, and I love how they added that. You will see certain enemies start to glow, you can bash their skull and rip their head apart, and more that will give you health. At the end of the day, there's a lot of badass shit in this game, and if you love the first two Doom games and all the badass mods and standalone games that are out there that people have made, you are going to love every single fucking minute of Doom 2016. Now, there is multiplayer with several modes such as Team Deathmatch, Freeze Tag, War have King of the Hill, Domination, Clan Arena, which is a team last man standing with no pickups, and so on. You gain experience points with each match, and after you collect a certain amount, you level up. You get new armor, skins, weapons, and power-ups that are unlockable. There is a level creator tool that is built in the game called Snap Map, where you can create your own or edit maps. It can be single-player levels to co-op or competitive multiplayer. One of these days I will mess with this. I'd love to make some stupid fucking maps or try to make some badass ones. I don't know how good I would be at them, but hey, it'd be really fucking cool. The graphics? Oh, <laughs> you're already playing this game with half a chub because the gameplay alone has you almost harder than a diamond in an ice storm. When you see how this game looks, how the demons look, and so on, you will be playing this game with a full chub. You will need your broad to come release the pressure every five minutes, if not less. So tell her to stay under the desk or on the couch, especially if you're playing this on console. And if you are a broad playing this game, you're going to flood the room by how good this game looks and how it plays. It's going to be like a fucking sprinkler system or a dam breaking. Seriously though, this
this game looks fucking amazing. The level designs are damn good. The enemies look mean as hell. The levels are somewhat open, but you need to go to a certain area to continue on into the game. I guess you could say they are quite large maps, if anything. The game is very colorful and they fit. Mars has never looked fucking better. Aid Software did a great job, pure and simple. The music, well, I like it. It's metal, but also I've noticed that they threw what sounds like dubstep in there. And for the most part, now I would prefer some straightforward and fucking kick-ass thrash or even good death metal. That would have been a lot better. Hell, get Andrew Holschultz, who did the desk, and I think he also composed the soundtrack to the Rise of the Triad remake, to do it. That guy does just awesome stuff. At the end of the day, though, it fits, and it's fucking great to listen to when it comes to gaming music. When it comes to sound effects, they are fucking great, ranging from explosions, gunfire, the demons, and everything is just so fucking awesome. The voiceover work that you hear in the game, you're going to hear a little bit of it, is damn good. Now, Doom Guy or Doom Slayer, whatever the fuck you want to call him, doesn't talk or anything like that, kind of like in the older games, so that's always good. Most of the time, he's just an angry fuck that likes to punch shit, break shit, and all that stuff, and I don't blame him. Now, when it comes to difficulty, you can choose what setting you want, and there is a nightmare mode, and, and I think there's another nightmare mode on top of that, which is even tougher, and that's cool as shit, but I'm playing this on normal because I don't want my asshole ripped out or my spine ripped out through my asshole because that would probably hurt. When it comes to the controls, once again, this is a first-person shooter on PC. Now, if you're playing this on console, it's going to be a little different. Moving around with the WSAD keys, aim and shoot with the mouse, and so on, they are very responsive, and a lot of time and effort went into this game to make them good. Doom 2016 is so fucking good. I love every minute of it. If you love the first two games, the run and gun, fast paced, violent fucking action this game has, you are going to love this game. End of story. The gameplay is very well done. The graphics are really nice looking. The music is pretty damn good, although there is a slight flaw there, but I'm not going to hold that against the game. It does fit the game very well. The sound effects are damn good. The voiceover work is well done. The difficulty, which once again you can set yourself, is fucking great. There are times this game will kick your face and even on normal, but it's nothing impossible and really, if I die, it's mostly my own fuck up because I'm not fast enough. The controls are very well done, respond well, and easy to understand. For a modern day Doom, this game kicks fucking ass and if I would have had a good enough PC or even a current gen console when this game first released, I would have bought this fucker day one. And I don't say that very often about gaming of today. You know what's really cool? Bethesda didn't fuck this up with the publishing like they have done with Fallout 76 and some will even say Fallout 4. They let id Software pretty much run the show and they just release the fucking game as a publisher and that makes me really happy because imagine if they would have screwed this up or imagine that this would have had a modern day take like I mentioned earlier, there was possibly talks of making it a Call of Duty fucking knockoff. That would have sucked really bad. Now, if you want to pick up Doom 2016, at least the PC version, it's normally $19.99 on Steam. And I really think that's a good price. I do see it go on sale quite a bit, and I see it as low as 5 to $6. I'm sure around the time of Doom Eternal coming out, it'll be really fucking cheap. Especially for those of you that are not picking up Doom Eternal right away like myself, you could play this game to hold you over. Now, there are quite a few sequels out there. And of course, I reviewed Doom and Doom 2 Hell on Earth already. There is Doom 3, Doom RPG, Doom RPG 2, Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil, which is an expansion pack for Doom 3, Doom VFR, which is Doom in VR, and a ton of others, including some fan-made wads, which add shit to the game, make their own game, levels, and so on. And of course, coming out today, because it's March 20th, some of you probably already have it and are playing the fuck out of Doom Eternal right now. I hope you fuckers are enjoying every minute of it, and at a later time, I'm sure I will get my hands on it, maybe later this year we'll see and i can't wait to actually play it myself i know a friend of mine picked it up so i'm sure i'll get a chance to try it out before i buy i hope you enjoyed this review of doom 2016 for pc thanks for watching